Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can increase the frames per second dramatically by making one simple change. The nice thing is that this change is the change in Flight Simulator itself, nor in the OS, but in the BIOS. And it all has to do with the memory and I would say the speed of the memory. Keep in mind that you can't make this change uh, I would say with all configurations because it depends on the hardware for example your memory modules need to be compatible with the XMP uh, modes and also your uh, CPU needs to be able to handle that piece so as you currently see uh, I'm flying above uh, Rotterdam and you can see that it's mainly limited by the main thread right so keep it in mind we're roughly at uh, 28 29 frames so now let me show you what setting you need to change in the BIOS. Before making the change, you need to confirm if your memory is really suitable for making the change. And you can do that by using a program called CPU-Z. I will post the uh, link to uh, where to download the program. Once the program has uh, started, you can go to memory and it will show you uh, the memory type, uh, the size of the memory, uh, the channel and the encore frequency. Now, I already changed the setting in my BIOS, so mine's already running on the correct speed, but if you didn't change this, it will run at a much lower speed. In my case, it was approximately 500 megahertz less compared to uh, the value shown currently. So how do you figure out if your memory is supporting uh, the nice feature? Well, you need to go to the uh, memory bank where the uh, memory module is located, in this case uh, slot 2, and there you will see the speed extension and then the version to which it's compatible with. This is the max version it's compatible with, and here below you can see that if it's if XMP is enabled, it will run at a maximum of 1600 megahertz, while if I would say the normal mode is activated, it runs at uh, 1066, right? So you can see it, I would say, will bring you a lot of more uh, speed to the memory. Uh, keep in mind that the memory uh, needs to be suitable but also the CPU must support it and of course late last thing I forgot to mention it earlier on is that the BIOS needs to support it. So let's have a look what you need to change in your BIOS. So I've got a Aorus or a Gigabyte uh, mainboard and in the tweaker set setting or in the tweaker option, there is a, an option called Extreme Memory Profile, XMP. If I select that option, I have the option to set it either to disabled or to profile one, right? You can see that um, profile one is by default shown, profile two not. I think that's to do with some protection because uh, you can also go to the advanced options, which will allow you to make, I would say, other changes. So you change it to uh, Profile 1, as you can see in this screenshot, and then eventually, when enabled, you see that the Extreme Memory Profile is now set to Profile 1, and it shows DDR3200 uh, and then some other values like the uh, clock rate and the uh, voltage, etc. Once you made that change, hit Save and Exit, uh, and then simply start Flight Simulator. So let's have a look what the difference is. So we're back on the same airport, same airplane. So let's uh, re remove the parking brakes and let's uh, try to take off. As you can see, frame rate has changed a bit. A little small bit, but it's at least a few frames more than previously. So now let's try to fly to uh, the city. You can see it's Still not 100% fluct, I say 100% of it is a fluent. It also goes better, right? So let's fly to the city and let's see if it has improved. Keep in mind, I'm using a custom uh, add on for the city of Rotterdam, so don't be under the impression that you can have the same, well you can have the same, but then you need to download the, uh, the custom add-on of course. So 
currently at uh, 33, 40, 34. As you can see, by changing that one setting, the uh, frame rates have increased, which I would say really positive. And currently, I'm, I've set these settings pretty high, right, to ultra for buildings, etc. If you would even decrease that to uh, lower values, for example, to high, then you probably will get some more frames because those settings are affecting the frames per second massively. Uh, it's now hovering and stuttering, so let's see if that continues. If that's the case, then you might better drop to, I would say, high, right? Which is for the 27 uh, Super uh, NVIDIA card, it's, I would say, kind of the normal setting which you see around uh, around the internet and on several fora. As you can see, it's doing pretty well uh, after making this change. You can see high quality buildings here. So that's good. So with changing the XMP profile for your memory, you will increase the memory speed. And with increasing the memory speed, you will also increase the frames per second in Flight Simulator without making any modification in the operating system nor in Flight Simulator. Here ends this video, hope you liked it, if you liked it then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments then feel free to leave the comments in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.